Suit bet on staying home all summer in the hopes that with Sean just across the street, he'd finally come over and sweep her off her feet. But with Sean now going to Ghana, sadly, that was not the case. Or was it? Hey! Uh, how about you? Got any big plans for the summer? Or... Oh, yeah. Well, um, probably should get moving. Nobody's gonna pack these bags for me. <laughs> Donna, I see what you did there. <laughs> <sighs> well, bye, Susie Q. Yep. Bye. But she wanted to give him one last little something to take with him, to remind him of home. You know you're not permitted to bring liquids through security. I didn't. Talking about this, seems we have a snow globe here with a winter scene and a note that says, Sean, you always called me your snowflake, so when I found this snow globe, the first person I thought of was you. If you ever get homesick, shake the globe and think of us. Love, Sue. What? Sorry, but I'm gonna have to toss that. I enjoy your whimsical snow globe as much as the next guy, but I can't let you get on the plane with it. Oh, I'm not getting on that plane. Excuse me, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, I'm not here right now. Please leave your name, number, and a nice wish for the world. Sean? Sean, what are you doing here? You're I, supposed to be on a plane. I need to talk to Sue. Sue? She's on her way to Denver. They left over an hour ago. Mike. X. Sean? Sue! Sue! Sean? What are you doing here? Is everything okay? I was at the airport to go to Ghana, and I found this in my bag. Uh, yeah, I put it in there as a goodbye gift. This is a long way to come to thank me, Sean. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I bought this for you last year. How did you end up with it? I found it in the trash at my apartment. That's where I threw it out after Axel told me you were dating someone. Axel, did you tell Sean I was dating someone? I thought you were there for Lexi. I told you I liked Sue on New Year's Eve. I thought you were drunk. Why didn't you tell me you liked me on New Year's I, Eve? I don't know. I thought you were with that Aiden guy, so I tried to woo you by leaving you the balloons and the snowdrifts and the flowers. That was you? Oh, my bad. I gave the flowers to Cindy. That is so frustrating! Sue, people traveled the whole world to find their soulmate, but mine has been right across the street all along. I don't know when I started feeling this way. Maybe it was when my mom forced me to hold your hand at the zoo so you wouldn't get lost. I don't know, but what I know is that when we kissed, it was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Everything about you makes me happy. The way you think, the way you smile, you get excited about everything. The muffin you just ate, the smell of chalk. You are walking sunshine, and I feel like a complete idiot for wasting a single minute by not telling you that. So, now you know how I feel, but you gotta tell me, what does this mean for you? Did you give this to me because I'm your brother's friend? Or because I'm your neighbor? I need you to be super clear with me here, Sue, because obviously we're not very good about being clear. Is this clear enough? I love you, Sue Ack. I love you so much, back. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. But aren't they expecting you at Ghana? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'll be back in three months. I'll be here. Well, uh, uh, not on this road. I'll be at my house. Or I might be out when you get home, but if you just call me, I will be there. <laughs> will you hold on to this for me until I get back? I will. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did that really just happen? Sue. It doesn't matter. We don't need it. It did what it was supposed to do. It, it brought us to each other. Well, I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> I knew. I've known for a long time. I was the first, but I was sworn to secrecy. That's why I knew and the rest of you didn't. 
I knew. I knew. Not till after I knew. I am just floating on air. You know, I saw movies where people were this happy, but I never thought it could happen to me. Oh, isn't it crazy how life works? There I was at mile marker 15, just living an ordinary life, and then poof, mile marker 16, and I am a woman in love. You know how you just love someone so much you ache when you're not with them? You're not gonna ache all the way to Denver, are you? I am gonna ache the whole summer until he gets back. Pronounce you husband and wife. Happy endings are beginnings of a million new stories. A threshold to cross through and seize the new day. Happy endings are beginnings. Yep. Making room we finally for the became Darkies. Like big mile markers on life's happy highway.